muffins in the kitchen are very scientific. It's dissolving, Aristotle. And now it's changing colour. They're always asking questions, both general and specific. What does the book say? Oh, uh, perhaps a few more drops. Careful, Newton, you've been slippery. Thanks, Echo. The boffins from the house next door think science isn't fun. They must prefer to hang round or lie back in the sun. Oh, I wish I had my skateboard. Yikes! Come on! Now, puppies live in covers. That's where they like to stay. Let's see what sort of science the boffins do today. Aristotle and Madame Curie are going to get an awful shock when I use these springs to overcome the force of gravity. <gasps> well, don't start yet, or you might overcome the force of gravity and fly into space before they have a chance to see you. Well, don't be too long, because I'm not sure how long I can hold on. <laughs> Yoo-hoo! Aristotle, Madame Curie. Oh, Echo, oh. how good of you to come. Uh, but where's Newton? <clears throat> He's on the bench. He's about to prove he can overcome the force of gravity. Oh, how very scientific, but he's too late. You see, I too am about to overcome the force of gravity with my new improved lift. <laughs> I'm not sure if he can wait very long. You see, I have made some subtle adjustments to the mechanism and I'm about to lift Madame Curie and all her baggage, thus defying the force of gravity. Oh, hello, Madame Curie. Oh, hello, dear. Right. Echo, now the time has come. Goody. Pull. Uh, uh, it won't budge, Aristotle. Well, pull harder. It still won't budge. Some lift. I'll just lighten the load then. Oh, uh, good, Madame Curie. Good. Um, it will lift this time. Right, Echo, with all your strength. Pull. Okay. Pull. Uh, oh, yes, it's uh, working. How extraordinarily swiveling. Yes. <laughs> but where's Madame Curie? Oh, she must have fallen out. Here I am. Huh? The only thing your lift can lift, Aristotle, is the lift. Uh, yes. Oh, what in the kitchen was that? Help! Help! Can someone get me down from here, please? Oh, well. Yikes. Oh, How very peculiar, Madame Curie. Oh, I wonder if there's some sort of theory that accounts for all of this. Oh, do be quiet. Oh, Aristotle, please, no theories or science now. Just get me down. Right, it's OK, Newton. I'm on my way. Uh, do be careful, dear. OK. Right, I'm coming, Newton. I... I'm coming. I'm nearly there. Just hold out your hand. Yes. Newton, I've got a fall. Oh, oh, Echo! Echo, oh. you'd better come back in before no. you and Newton both end up on the kitchen floor. Oh, but... Sorry, Newton. Oh, hurry, I can't hang on much longer. We've got to do something. We can't just leave him there. I don't know, Echo. If he stays there, we'll always know where he is. <laughs> Stop it. Oh. Now, it seems to me that the weight on Newton's end of the fork almost balances the lid on this end of the fork. Yes. Right. So, if we increase the weight here, Echo might be able to climb out and help him in. Oh! Yes! Spiffling, Madame Curie! Oh! Oh! oh. We could use these beans! Quick, Madame Curie, start oh, shoveling! Me? Yeah. Yes, you! Oh, I thought I... Good. Now, come on. Put yes, them in yes, the yes, lid. I'm going. I'm there. Right. I'm coming, Newton. OK. Be careful. Do be careful, I'm... dear. Oh, oh I'm no. I'm nearly there. Echo's putting too much force on that oh. end of the fork. Oh. More beans, Madame oh. Curie. Oh. More beans, more oh. beans. More beans. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, Just beans. put them in the lid. Quick, Newton. There. Hold Good. out oh. your hand. That's 
level. Okay. It's all balanced now, so just try and lift yourself up. Uh, That's all right. Oh, he's oh, up. Gotcha. Ah, <laughs> very good. Oh, it's you. It's oh, come on. Oh, we made it. Oh, well done. You oh, too. back on the bench at last. Oh, you must have been so scared. <laughs> Good, good. Are you sure you're all right, Newton? I think so. Poor Boffin. You've had a nasty shock. I sure have. Dangling mm. over the floor like that was the worst shock I've ever had. Mm. But you saved me. <laughs> what? <laughs> thanks, Boffins. <laughs> oh, thanks, science. But that's not science. According to the law of gravity, I should have fallen down. Mm -hmm. But the law of gravity was also operating on the lid full of beans. Eh? So, everything was balanced over the center of gravity, which was the cork. So, oh. you didn't fall. <laughs> if you can discover your center of gravity, you can be sure you will not fall. You can stand on one leg. You can stretch on your toes you can balance a ball on the end of your nose everything known has a center of gravity once found you can do what you like you, you can, can balance, balance a cup, cup. You, you can balance, balance a broom you can stand on your hands and walk around the room Oh, yes. Yeah. Bravo. <laughs> Bravo. <laughs> well done. Thanks to Newton, we can now use what we know about gravity to perfect our lift. <laughs> Ready, Madame Curie? Ready. Good. A few more beans and... Ah. <laughs> Presto! Bravo! Bravo! Very, very efficient and very scientific. Down, please. Right. Uh, just a minute. <laughs> now, a few less beans and... <laughs> Bye! <laughs> Madame? Up, please. Uh, right. Ah. Oh, dear. Ah, ah, ah. A few more beans and. Uh, oh, dear. Something tells me, but I'm curious that. There's a small design fault somewhere. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> oh, Madame Curie. Uh, uh. If you can discover your center of gravity, you can be sure you will not fall. You can stand on one leg. You can stretch on your toes. You can balance. A ball on the end of your nose. Everything known has a center of gravity. Once found, you can do what you like. You, you can, can balance, balance a cup. cup. You, you can, can balance, balance a broom. You, you can, can stand, stand on your hands and walk around the room. room.